Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And as you can tell by the title, I'm going to te be teaching you guys how to make a crochet turtle. <laughs> and hit that subscribe button and notifications bell like comment and share and let's get into the video if you are a beginner too and want to find some crochet hooks that are affordable and good to use i recommend these hooks they are aluminum crochet hook set they come in six millimeter five 6.5 millimeter and 10 millimeter we're going to be using these two yarns today um there's this one it is 78 percent acrylic and 22 percent wool and this is 31 meters or 34 yards as you can say and i'm also going to be using this um wool it's the exact same material acrylic and um, wool and the same crochet hook so the exact same yarn so it's different color depending on the size of the yarn that you have mine is really thick like this is compared to on my hand so this is a thicker one if you have a smaller one you will probably need to do it smaller time uh, more times around but if you do I'll just follow you through it and tell you what you need to do so what I'm going to be starting with is the bottom part of the turtle and I'm going to be doing the bottom, the little fins and the head all this color and then I'll be doing the shell, this white color, your yarn tag off and as you can see um, it comes with patterns to do certain things in, in case this one is slipper boots so make sure to keep that because you might need it one day to start off by doing if you can make the magic circle um and if you prefer that then you can do that but i prefer just doing a slip knot than chaining three um so what you're gonna go ahead and do is make a slip knot this is how i do it um my way so you make a slip knot then you're gonna want to chain three so you're gonna yarn over and pull through that string so that's one yarn over pull through that's two yarn over pull through that's three now as you can see you have this kind of like little chain you're going to go back into the first chain that we did then you're going to yarn over and then you're going to pull through both of them and then you should have a little um like center circle right there so now we're gonna go ahead and just yarn over and pull through to start actually doing the bottom what we're going to do is do 10 single crochets into this hole over we'll yarn over whatever put it into the that hole that we have created pull through this string then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that's number one. You're going to go ahead and repeat that ten times. I'll show you again to just remember. Yarn over. Might get a little tricky because the, the hole might start getting smaller. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, so I've just finished the first round and we should have 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So then you're going to go ahead and put it through the first stitch that we did. Yarn over and pull through both of them. And this is what it should be looking like. So then you're going to want to go ahead and yarn over. And before we go on to the next round, make sure to go um, to the back tail and then just give a good tug on that so there's no hole. So now for the second row, we are going to do increases. So you're going to yarn over, put it through the hole that we have just created, pull through that yarn, yarn over pull through two now 
um this is going to be tricky because it's not um as big of a hole as it would be usually so then you're going to yarn over and pull through now since these are increases you're going to be doing two singles in one stitch so i'm going to go ahead and repeat a single but in the same stitch you're going to repeat that all around so you're going to yarn over put it into that stitch and pick up the stitch pull through two yarn over pull through two and that was one so now you're going to do another one yarn over pull it up yarn over go through two go through two and by the end of this you should have a total of 20 stitches around as you can see i just finished doing the second round and you should end up with 20 stitches so 20. so once you've done that you're going to go through the first stitch that we created you're going to round over and pull through this might be a little tricky but you're going to pull through that string through both of the uh, hoops and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through now um do one single and then in increase so we're gonna yarn over put it through the hole that we just created we're gonna pull through that yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that was just a single and now we need to do an increase which is a double so we're going to go into the next stitch and just do a single single crochet and then since it's an increase we're just going to do another single crochet but into the same stitch that we crocheted into before so as you can see that was a single and it's a double because it went into the same stitch you should end with 30 stitches i just finished doing the um third round and i do have 30 stitches so we're going to go into the first stitch that we did insert our hook round over and pull through both of them closing up that round so now as you can see it like this is going to be the bottom and it kind of curls in on its own but now we are going to go ahead and start ending it so we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch along so we have 30 right now so by the end of it we're going to have 30 so but this is just going to bring the shell closer together for the bottom and if you do have smaller string and yours is still really small you're just going to want to keep on going ahead with the um increases in singles so if you did a fourth round you would do two singles and then an increase and then for the fifth round three singles and increase so every time you are just um upping one on the single i just finished doing the single crochets all around and it's starting to curve in and that's what you want to see so now we're going to go ahead and finish it off and put it into the stitch that we first created we're going to round over and we're going to pull through both stitches if you have it finished off it should look something like this so now as you can see when you flatten it out this is going to be the bottom of the turtle so we're going to go ahead and do another round and pull it through and then you're going to go ahead and just cut off a little bit of the string not too much then you're just gonna pull it through and tighten it and then if you have a darning needle you can use that to weave it in but what i like using is literally just my hook because so i don't have to get out a whole needle and thread it through and this works perfectly um it works better with bigger yarn but if you use smaller yarn um it's it's literally the same just smaller and it might be a bit harder to uh 
find it. But once you weave it in to what your liking is, just to put it in the inside, just in case if something comes undone, you can kind of use that yarn toward. Now we're gonna go ahead and start to do the turtle legs. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that we did here, just we're going to make it smaller. So if you again like to start off with the magic circle, you can absolutely do that if that makes you more comfortable. So we're gonna go ahead and start our arf. <laughs> Sorry about that. Start off by um doing three crochets. So as you can see, there's like a line of three. We're gonna go into the first chain, yarn over and pull it through. So we're gonna go ahead and chain 10. So we're gonna yarn over, put it into the center of this circle, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you're gonna go ahead and do that 10 times. And this is what it should be looking like. So then you're gonna wanna go ahead and yarn over. And before we go on to the next round, make sure to go um, to the back tail and then just give a good tug on that. For the second row, we are going to do increases. So you're going to yarn over, put it through the hole that we have just created, pull through that yarn, yarn over, pull through two, you're gonna yarn over and pull through. Now, since these are increases, you're going to be doing two singles in one stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat a single, but in the same stitch. So I have just completed my second round and I have 20 stitches. So now to finish it off, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the first stitch that we have created. Round over and pull through both of them. We are going to um, round over and pull it through and then you're gonna leave like i would say enough for like half of this to fit two or three times around head and cut it right there pull it through and tighten it now we are going to be folding it so the bad side needs to be inside, and we're going to be folding it to sew between here. If you have a darning needle, um, you can use that, or you can use a hook. So the way I use a hook is I go through the two stitches next to it, and then the two stitches right here. The two stitches in there. Then you're going to put the string like around it. And then you're gonna pull it through as you can see it's now closed there so now you're gonna flip it over and do the um do it the other side so the next chain and then into this next chain pull it over and feed it through and you're just gonna want to keep on making it tight as you go on and make another four of these and i'll show you how to attach them to the bottom i just finished all four um fins or legs whatever you want to call them you want to flip it so the bad side is facing out i want my um legs kind of sticking in a little bit is you're going to want to get this string and if you have a darning needle it will be easier but if you don't um that's totally okay but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just keep on feeding in your hook in a whole bunch of different places. Like pick up the yarn and then feed it through. So I'm going to go ahead and get the first one in and I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see, I've now put on 
the legs of the turtle and if you flip it inside out it will look much um put together and it won't look as crazy so as you can see the turtle starting to come together but this is going to be the bottom of it we need to make the um top shell of the turtle so we're gonna go ahead and put this away and we're gonna bring um your other color that you're using for the shell so we're gonna start off by making um a slip knot and we're literally doing the exact same thing over and over again we are doing the same thing that we did here so we're going to chain three we're going to chain three and do the exact same thing that we did before um if you need further clarification you can go back into the video or even slow the video down so um you don't lose um lose focus so this is the first round so we're gonna be making um 10 of them so we're gonna go this is the first one so go ahead and make 10 of these single crochets into the center and i just finished doing the 10th single crochet now you're going to attach them together by um putting it through the first crochet that we did you're going to pull it through the same one yarn over and pull through now we are going to do um increases all the way around so you're going to do single crochets in each one and you should end with 20. I just finished doing the second round and i ended with 20 crochets at the top so now we are going to put it into the first crochet that we did round over and pull through them both at the same time so now we have this um little shell and we're going to round over and pull through and now we're going to do the third round so we are going to do the exact same thing we're going to do a single then an increase so i'll see you back when we do a single and an increase just completed the third round and now i'm just gonna finish it off go into the first um crochet that we did and pull it out through and then yarn over and pull through so now that we have done the three um rounds just like we did the three rounds here so what we're going to do now is we're going to do another row though because um i want the shell to be bigger than the turtle so we're going to go ahead and do number four and the fourth round is two singles and an increase so we're gonna do put it into the hole pull up this one is always a little bit harder if you're dealing with um chunky yarn so that's one that's one and then you're gonna do a second one which is two And then now you're going to do an increase. So you're going to do two singles just into the same uh, into the same loop that we just did. So you're going to go ahead and complete that, and you should have um, forty stitches after this. So um, I just finished doing the um, shell portion so i'm just going to go ahead and finish it off into the first crochet that we did round off and pull it now depending on like i said before if you have bigger yarn or small yarn this is where i'm going to end off on the shell but you could keep on to do a single crochet in each stitch um so it kind of curls it in a little bit so then i can attach it um, on to the just finished doing the then you end the um, yarn you're going to take out your crochet hook and you're going to want to leave a good portion of string because this is a string that you're going to use to attach it just pull it through tighten it should be the same amount of stitches 
on your top piece as your bottom piece. So now if you have a darling needle, you can get that and start just sewing it. But I do not. So I'm going to use my crochet hook to go into each little slit here. And then I'm going to go up, uh, pull this yarn through it. It's quite long, so it might take a while. Um, and then I'm just going to keep on doing that all around. So I'm going to go through the next, um, the next one, push it through. I don't know if you can see that. Push it through and pull it up. And you're just going to want to do that all the way around, but make sure to leave a small little space somewhere um, at the ending. So it'll probably be like somewhere around here um, so we can fit the stuffing in. I'm super happy with how this is turning out. So as you can see, I am done stitching um, all of the um, seams for the um top and the bottom and the legs together stuffing this is a stuffing that i have um so i'm just gonna take some of it if you do choose to use stuffing i really recommend to use um this type of stuffing um it makes it the softest and i find it's really easy to stuff in there so now i stuffed it and as you can see it's pretty stuffed and it looks super cute so now the string that is left, we're going to go ahead to go back in and cover up that hole so then it's not noticeable anymore. So I've just finished up um, the uh, head right there uh, space. So now I'm going to show you how to actually do the head. So we're going to start off by doing the exact same thing that we do every single time so we're gonna make a slip knot and chain three so that's one two three you're gonna stick it into the first one and bring it through and pull over and chain one now we're going to do the same thing where we do a single crochets into the center just finished doing the first round and we should have 10 now we're going to go ahead and do another round which is just increases all the way around and since we have 10 right now we're going to double it so you should have 20 when you end just finished doing the second round so now i'm going to go ahead and do single crochets all around the top so it can start curving um and just finished doing the um one row of single crochets and as you can see it's starting to form a head shape but now we are going to do a decrease so if you're a beginner and you don't know what a decrease is you're basically going to do um one like single crochet so as you can see one single crochet and then for the next one you are going to wrap it around go through the first loop of the next crochet and the first loop of the next crochet then you're going to do the exact same thing that you did before you're going to pull this thing through the string through then pull two round over pull two then you're going to do a single crochet into um, the next one and then you're gonna round over you're gonna go through the first of the next crochet and the first of the following crochet and pull the string through round over pull the string through round over 
all the shenfu. Now you're gonna go ahead and repeat that. So I finally finished the head. Um, so now um, you should have a little space. So we're gonna go ahead and put the eyes in. So I just put the eyes on and it's looking super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave it through here with the, the body and then I'll come back to show you how it looks ahead and just use one of like the normal knitting needle I'm sorry um sewing needles that I had that was just big enough to put some thicker yarn or um like bracelet yarn in it so I went ahead and then put a little smile on it and I think this is just so adorable thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video